Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Stream Solid. I'm Joseph, and today we're going to be talking about some modifications that I made to the Philipod, as you can see here. So if you aren't familiar with this project, basically I'm trying to make an airtight filament holder device, and I've gone through a bunch of different iterations, and in the last video, I had someone help me out and take me through some design decisions I need to make as far as designing the final product. So these are some of the changes I made, and... Just for reference, here is one of the more refined versions that I made previously. So some of the issues I had with this version is the side was supposed to be all silicone, and I run into a couple of different issues with that. And the initial thought process was just to make it as simple as possible, easy to manufacture, and having one part is always easier than having two parts. But there's some issues with this being the stability of the legs so these were kind of weak uh, you can see some of my short form videos that was an issue i had um, and then just getting a good seal here since there isn't any compressive force that was something that we discussed in the last uh, video where we have there's really nothing keeping this um, airtight so having a compressive force is helpful for that and so this was kind of the main initial version after not, actually, there's a lot of versions before this, but this is one of the ones that I demonstrated a couple of times. And then here is another version that I made after that. And so you can see here, this was the overmold where I attempted to make another gasket that is molded into this side piece. So the idea being that this would be a hard plastic and then this would be a more silicone-like gasket system here with a little lip to try to keep everything airtight and it had some physical uh, binding points so the silicone would go through these little slots and then also it would grab, be grabbed by these little feet pieces as well to try to keep it in place. So then uh, I hired Nabil and we went through some iterations of this. One thing to point out with this design that I, I do like is that I had these offset uh, male and female pieces so you can imagine if you take it and rotate it 90 degrees and you're able to use the same piece and when you're thinking through getting an injection molded part anytime you can use symmetry where you don't have to get a different mold then that's a benefit right because you these molds are expensive so being able to have a symmetric piece uh, for both sides for both halves it's easy to save some money on that as far as just having one mold instead of two so that was part of the idea behind this i think that turned out pretty well and hopefully something we can use going forward so that was that design and this is my most recent design so a lot of this was from nabil's feedback uh, that he gave me so one of the main things that he mentioned, which I agree with, you know, after thinking about it, is that you want to have a compressive force. So the idea with this design is these pieces twist on each side, and that allows you to basically tighten everything down to get a good compressive force uh, on the design. Another thing that we did here was added this silicone ring basically around the edge of the tube, and that way we could bind it um, to the tube instead of making a custom silicone ring. So these are fairly easy to make and cheap relative to other designs uh, that I was considering. Uh, let's see, some other changes I made. So Nabil also mentioned these rubber gaskets for being able to sit it upright. And these can be bought off the shelf. So these are very cheap to have uh, produced. So this wouldn't be a big expense, even though there are you know, 16 of them basically. But again, I think that's a something that I kind of like that concept of. I think it looks pretty good uh, as well. Some other things I did, so I added this little uh, dongle thing to the cap here. And, you know, that's beneficial because essentially this is where your filament exits. And when the filament's in use, you don't want to lose this top cap piece because this is really pretty crucial actually in making this airtight. So one of the big issues that I have with a lot of the designs that claim that they're airtight is they don't really address where the filament exits the container, right? So obviously when you're using the filament, it's you're going to have a little bit of air leakage just because like the filament has to have a place to come out and go into the printer. But when you're not using the filament, uh, you have a couple of choices. One, you can roll the filament all the way in, and then it sometimes it becomes a hassle to try to get the filament out because then you have to reopen the whole container. So the idea with this is you have your filament roll here 
and then you have your filament coming out uh, through this tube. And so we have a couple of pieces here. This is the part that will attach the tube to the actual acrylic and it's tapered. It's kind of hard to see, but you should be able to push this down. It should get tighter as it goes down because this is tapered. So this provides the seal here. And then obviously we're going to have to kind of uh, test and prototype how tight we can make this without it being too tight to get into place. But then up here you have a PTFE tube and this can be as long as you want it. So if you want it to be, you know, a couple inches like this one is, or if you want it to be a couple feet, you know, you can cut that to whatever length you want. And then we have uh, this piece, which you can see kind of in cross section, it's basically attached around the tube here. So once you're using the filament, you can take it off and let it dangle and that way you don't lose it, right? And then here, uh, it's not it's not drawn, but the filament would be coming out here. And then when you're not using this uh, the filament, you can basically put the filament where it's tapered into here. So the tip of the filament would become uh, basically snug into this cap. And then the cap obviously is airtight with the end of the PTFE tube. So the benefit to this is you should be able to pinch the end of this and then pull your filament out and then you don't have to open this whole container so ideally that would keep the filament a little bit drier and it would just be a better user experience so you don't have to open everything up you can just grab the tip and then you have the filament uh, ready to go so that i think is a, a good design feature that i'm going to hopefully be able to carry forward to the the final product there and so another feature i wanted to point out was how i modified how this thing comes together so some changes I made was that I designed this threaded rod here and then uh, again just kind of going back I want to make this as airtight as possible so I added this little gasket in the center so that the other piece will come and basically join there because once you add a, a shaft like this you potentially have an air leak right so this is open to the air and then in the middle here is where you're worried about the air infiltrating into the container so that's what this gasket's for uh, obviously this is kind of a work in progress i don't know if this is going to be sufficient but that's the idea because now our potential places of leakage are here here and then here and so that was a design decision i made i could also probably make a gasket here on the outside where the threaded piece is but uh i just decided i think for now this is a solution that should hopefully work if we can get the tolerances and the size of this gasket here right you can see here that it's just a simple ring gasket and it would sit down in here and i think we could probably glue it to one end and that way it wouldn't fall out and then another thing i considered was if we had just a rubber gasket around this piece that kind of sat in the middle here and that would impress as well so that might be something i'll discuss with nabil in the future another thing that uh, i like about this design is now we still have the compartment for silica so silica packets can sit inside of this and it not obstruct anything and then i could also make a 3d printable container that could fit in here if needed where people could dump their own silica into that and it'd be kind of like a, a donut shape that fits around this so that's another solution that i think uh, could work pretty well here and then obviously you have the gap so that the silica can actually absorb moisture and things like that and then the, another thing that i also like is this little offset allows it to keep the um, filament kind of in the center and, and one thing i mentioned to nabil is I want it to be where if you really need to, you can lay it on its side. So to accomplish that, I also added this rubber gasket around the outside. So I think that goes with the design language and I think it, it actually looks pretty decent. I don't know if this would be the final design right now. All that it is is basically just a little offset here and then a, a gasket or just a rubber kind of bumper here. And that way if you're stacking it up or if you have it sitting on like a table, it doesn't uh, slide around and it, it just gives it some padding like as you stack so I'm pretty happy with this overall design concept uh, again it uses that offset little feature here where you can rotate it 90 degrees so essentially this is symmetric with the other side so again this minimizes the amount of molds I need to make so this would be a mold this would be a mold and then these silica pieces would be a mold so looking at four molds essentially but um 
these silico pieces, since they're small, would be fairly inexpensive. And then this piece, I don't know if there's an off-the-shelf piece for that. So one thing I didn't model here is this piece does not have a thread in it, so it would probably need some type of metal thread insert as far as getting that to interact or be rigid enough to use like a metal threaded rod there. You don't want that to wear out over time. So I think that would probably need a metal threaded insert. So that's something I can ask Nabil about or once we get to the manufacturing stage, I'm making sure that that is uh, compatible. And then I guess the last thing that I want to mention here is that this this part is still a little bit of a work in progress, so I want it to be intuitive to slot this into the part, so you want this to be fairly easy to use. I overlapped it here just to kind of reinforce the fact that this has to be airtight, but it needs to be easy to set into the right spot. So this is going to be a little bit of trial and error here as far as what size gasket we use and then how to... Uh, adjust that to make it airtight and one good point Nabil made in the previous episodes is is having this rounded and then that gives it more contact surface so if you have a 90 degree angle you know you could theoretically have a you know sharp one it's hard to uh, make that airtight and in general we have sharp cutouts that's not as ideal as having something where you can have contact on three sides like this is so I definitely agree with that concept so I think in the previous episodes we talked about having like a kind of tiered approach so might want to get his feedback on this as well but I think in general I, I like this concept because then you just uh, kind of align it and then tighten it down and maybe I need to make this a little more tapered where it kind of channels it into the right slot but this is the overall kind of general idea of, of this airtight uh, concept here so these are the updates I wanted to share. Uh, me and Nabil have another um, session together coming up soon, but I think I, I like the black. Let me know in the comments if you like this overall concept. I know there's a lot of different things going on, but I'm getting a lot more confident that we can get this to market in a reasonable way. I think it would look nice and be something that's useful. And Again, it has all the features that I want. One, it's being uh, airtight. I think this is a legitimately good design for airtight capabilities. It still has the ability to hang on the wall, so I'll have a, a print available to anchor this to the wall, and um, you can just hang it up, and then you can also stack it this way or sit it up like this. And then as far as the position of this um, filament access board, you can rotate this however you want to. So this is independent of the side pieces. So maybe you have this below your printer. You can have it coming up this way. Maybe you have this uh, where there's a bottom access so that you can rotate this on its side. I know it's kind of hard to envision, but you have this down here and the filament comes out that way. Or you can rotate it down a little bit where it's more of a straight shot. I like that concept as well. So hopefully this kind of gives you some insight into what I'm thinking about it and some design decisions I've made so far. And me and Abil will be meeting again to kind of review this and then potentially discuss some other alternatives to the design and see how this is as far as manufacturability goes. So looking forward to meeting with him soon and I'll keep you guys updated. And thanks again for watching. See you in the next one.